This week on The Attraction Show, we break down all the theme park happenings as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. And then we take to the skies to see what the theme parks look like now. Plus more of the latest theme park news, starting now. The Attraction Show is brought to you by Mouse Fan Travel, our recommended travel agent, Undercover Tourist, our recommended ticket supplier, and Give Kids the World Village, our favorite charity. Let them know you saw them on Attractions Magazine. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Jesse. And I'm Quinn. So uh, we are in different coming places. <laughs> yeah. Coming uh, at you from very different locations today. Yeah, uh, because of the, you know, the corona uh, quarantine or uh, what's social distancing you know we uh, don't want to spread anything especially with jesse being pregnant and uh you know the banks and jesse both have kids so we don't want to spread anything anywhere yeah we're, we're doing our part here to be proactive with everything but we have some great news in the queue for you hopefully to lighten some spirits and go over some things that are happening Let's go with some, uh, start with some good news. Disney has shared some new details about Avengers Campus, as well as an opening day. You can train to become a superhero just like Spider-Man, Black Widow, and more, starting July 18th at Disney California Adventure. Although, you know, with the construction being a little bit halted because of, uh, this, uh, situation, we don't know if that's, uh, still gonna stay as the opening day. I hope it does, but... Yeah, me too. I'm supposed to go out to yeah. California. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that while you're no, there. No, I don't. Unfortunately, earlier this week, Disney Universal SeaWorld and just about every major theme park across the U.S. has closed due to the COVID-19. The closure includes all of Disney and Universal shopping districts and hotels. You can keep up to date with the theme park and attractions closings on our website. Yeah. This is major. Like, yeah. this is really big. It's never happened before. It's kind of scary, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's for the best. We don't want this spreading anywhere. Of course, you know, we're in separate locations. Uh, you know, a, a huge theme park full of people would be, you know, just a breeding ground for the virus, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are upset about it, but I'm okay with the precautions right now. Yeah, it's just, you know, a matter of how long it's going to take. Exactly, yeah. Cirque du Soleil will temporarily postpone performances of Drawn to Life, the new show that was set to begin previews this month at Disney Springs. This follows the postponement of other Cirque shows worldwide in the past few days. You know, it follows the same sort of line of everything closing so yeah, yeah i was excited for this show but we can wait we can put a halt on it for right now i think mm -hmm. yeah hopefully it uh it reopens with everything else pretty soon various contracted entertainment acts at epcot were cut this week due to walt disney world's temporary closure including british Re revolution and the uk sergio the mime in italy and matsurui the chikyo drummers in the japan pavilion Oh boy. So I yeah, am. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's, it's more than a mouthful. It's a lot of entertainment cuts. I knew yeah. they were coming, but they weren't expected to end so soon. Yeah, it's, I mean, Epcot's uh, going through changes anyway. And I mean, I'm very sad to see a lot of these go. Like, I love the drummers in Japan. Uh, I never really watched any of the others. I, I kind of saw, saw Sergio sometimes. If I was going to write a memo to cover this this shutdown, it would be the day the drums stopped in Epcot. Because you can always hear them when you walk in. It's going yeah. to be so sad to see them go. To aid their communities during the temporary closures, many theme parks are donating excess food inventory to those in need. Here's a look at how the Disney parks are helping. partnership between Walt Disney World Resort and Second Harvest goes back almost 30 years. Through our Disney Harvest program, we collect more than 800,000 pounds of food each year, which helps to serve more than a million meals throughout our community. This is an unprecedented time, and there is nothing that is more important to us than the well-being of our cast members, our guests, and our community. And we knew that with our temporary closure, this was the opportunity to give back to our community in a way that needs it most. Cast members throughout Walt Disney World Resort have also gotten to know Second Harvest really well through the dozens and dozens of Disney volunteer events that we host right here at Second Harvest. 
The donation to Second Harvest Food Bank from Disney is significant, especially at this time, at the onset of you know, this pandemic rolling out and really impacting our community. So the variety and the volume of food is incredible, but it's gonna be able to reach 60 to 70,000 people. So it is especially timely. The impact of this donation in this community is really special. When you think about the people that it's gonna be reached. So we have children who are out of school, so they're not getting that breakfast or lunch. And just really important that they be fed, obviously. And then you have senior citizens that are especially vulnerable to coronavirus, and we have to keep them healthy. And then in between those, you know, the seniors and the kids, we have a lot of working families out there, a lot of single moms, and they're one paycheck away from, you know, not being able to pay the bills. So this food is really upfront and close and personal to this community. Our longstanding partnership with Disney has various elements to it and benefits to it. Not only wonderful food donations, you know, in large quantities and, and really good quality, but also from a volunteerism point of view, we can't accomplish our mission without volunteers. And then from a financial support point of view, for over 30 years now, Disney has been just a, a strong partner to this cause. I think what I love most about travel is the perspective that it gives me. It's just getting a chance to see other parts of the world and other types of people and other lifestyles. I like to say it's the difference between information and expertise. Anybody can do an, an internet search and come up with lots of information. Having somebody that has been there and done that and probably bought the t-shirt and really can speak to it with authority is the big difference. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit undercover tours today. With all the Orlando major theme parks closed, we took to the skies to see what the parks look like when they are completely empty midday. Take a look.
I'm Cammie, and I want to tell you about one of the most amazing places in the world, Give Kids the World Village. It's a magical place where kids with critical illnesses come from all over the world for one amazing week. They get to visit Central Florida's coolest theme parks, celebrate at nightly parties, and enjoy delicious meals. And it doesn't cost them a thing. To learn more about how this magical place works and how you can help, visit GiveKidsTheWorld.org. Nothing can stop us now as we bring you the spring 2020 issue of Attractions Magazine. Mouse rules apply when you enter the cartoon world of Mickey aboard Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So much has happened at Universal Orlando Resort the past 10 years, we showcase our top 10. Magic happens at Disneyland, we take a look at their new daytime parade. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com in print, digital, or in our app on Nook and Kindle. Undercover Tours provides authentic attraction tickets at discounted prices. To get the best ticket rates for your next theme park trip, visit UndercoverTourist.com. MEI Travel can help you plan your next adventure with the Personalized Vacation Planner. Their expert staff can help you sort through all of the confusing cancellation options and more. For a free quote, visit MEITravel.com. Give Kids the World is a nonprofit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses in their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit gktw.org. So with all the theme parks being closed, we're still going to be popping up new news, reworking a couple different things so that you yeah. have something to enjoy while you're at home. Yeah, if we we're going to have some best of segments, uh, maybe some segments. I know I, when I was out in California, I filmed a vlog at Knott's Berry Farm, so we might be posting that uh, mm. soon because I, I forgot to post it. But I mean, <laughs> at least we have some new content. <laughs> but and hopefully uh, we'll be reporting on openings and things getting back on their feet. Yeah, pretty soon, hopefully. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Oh, wait, before 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 you start that next line, I forgot to mention, I we have our new issue. Our brand new issue of Attractions Magazine. Got Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway right here on the cover. It's pretty cool. We got uh, some an, an article about Magic Happens, uh, the new parade at Disneyland. For you to enjoy while you are in your house. Yeah, and we got and you know, about. all the stuff we normally have, the, the news and... Uh, some comics in here, and uh, spot the difference. You know, everything, everything fun to do while, while you're stuck in your house like everyone is. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to our magazine, check out our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Until next time, have fun.